was a, an assistant captain of the Ryder Cup last week. Still seems like one of the young guys. He does, yeah. He's got a lot of energy and enthusiasm to get his game back in the upper echelon. Tough to do at age 45, but it's going to be tough this week, too. He says uh, until he got to... Yeah, how lengthy these par fives. It's kind of refreshing, I have to say. Uh, as a, a female golfer, to see these guys hitting woods <laughs> into the par fives, it's something that, you know, you do. A lot, a lot of amateurs at home do the same. And you get to see their course management so much more. Sung Jay laid up. He's got 142 yards left. If this isn't near the pin after that swing, I'd be amazed. Yeah, just such beautiful balance. There's a tendency to be a, a little narrow with his feet, but such great tempo. So back on the tee with Joel Damon. It's going to be a popular spot later this afternoon and into the weekend underneath those trees over there. It's just short of that tree there. The volunteer is going to put a flag in. He found it. You really need to pay attention to those trees in your practice rounds because like you don't, there's not too much issue if you miss the fairway, but you have to miss it on the right side on these, on this layout because there's just a, there's a couple and they're not all in the yardage book and you can just kind of creep your way over to the right or left rough find you don't have much of a view into the hole. Wolf can launch it. 122 miles an hour of club head speed. That's way out there. Sorry, Allison, uh, that may not need a head cover to get there. <laughs> yeah, there's a bunker down that left side that's, that's 299 to carry, and it didn't even come into shot. The best line today, see the good kind of black TV tower down the, that left-hand side, just left of center is perfect. Miss that bunker. And it opens up the hole nicely. A look at what Ortiz is doing with his grip. It's not short either, Allison. No, he sneaks it by. Yeah, you're talking about trying to get to that downslope. Yeah, you must hit a downslope. Sure. <laughs> sure, <laughs> I did. Here's Connors with his third. Yeah, watch this. This will just keep on trickling down. Ooh. Really lovely touch. Yeah, how good is that? A nice little four footer for birdie there. The early lead, two under par. Adam Hadwin and Henrik Norlander, who also started on this back. Two quick birdies on their cards. Early in the season, early on a Thursday morning. Perfect greens here. Country Club of Jackson. Oh. They are majestic, these greens. They are, I think they are the best Bermuda greens I've ever walked on. But they are so difficult to read. We'll talk about that as the day goes on. This will start taking off now for Sam Burns. He would take that eight days a week. You know, aside from what Joel Damon did at the first. <laughs> if he can bin one in. All right, the tour's leader in birdies. Sung J M, looking to start the total again. All downhill. Whoa. 498 birdies for last season. I mean, he does play a lot. So what? <laughs> 498 but he's still at zero. What's going on out there? I know, two holes in a row. Bit of a head scratch. I know a lot of people are gonna miss that putt low because where the pin is today, it's almost in like a little bit of a valley and it, and it looks as though that left side is gonna come in. 
just a little bit more and kick it back kind of straight. But you'd be waiting a long time for that to happen. Connors. Right back up the hill for birdie. No problem. He is a guy that is just fine with fast greens. Yeah, that was a, just a really well executed hole by Connors. You know, just erred slightly on the side of caution out to the left. No trouble at all up and down. Walk away with your birdie. Tenth place finish at the Masters for Corey Connors. Their greens are pretty slick. Sam Burns, that's a well-played hole. Got to take advantage of the par fives. These is a, it's a tougher set of par fives here than most, but a nice start for Sam Burns. I think that's a combination of a length, obviously, for, uh, of these set of par fives, but also just the, the entries to a lot of the greens. Like you look to the fairway behind him as Sung Jae and you know lines this one up a lot of it's kind of domed so a lot can happen to the ball before it gets up to the green solid par for Sung Jay so here we go Joel Damon can't quite get there clever play really I think you can just leak your way into a really soft six if you try and push too hard from out of position in particular on these par fives. A soft six. Boy, you have characterized a lot of our <laughs> golf games. Par fives just, you think they're pushovers and they just aren't. Great example here. Little hybrid for Ortiz, just trying to take a little off it with the fade. He would have loved that club. He would have known it was a little bit too much, would have kept the water out of play. There's no harm where he is there at all. You look at the scorecards in most golf courses, the par fives are where, they're, they're usually ranked as the harder holes. Mm -hmm. The higher handicap players, the more times you have to swing at it, the more chances you have to get in trouble. <laughs> more can go wrong, can't it? Really just great chance to focus and, and take the easy par if they're giving it to you. Wolf with the iron from 219. A little bit like a frozen rope. It sounded a, a little clunky off the club face there, but you could be aggressive with it. Be part eagle one coming next for Wolf. Ahead to the 12th and Connors. Plays back down parallel to the 11th. He knew that straight away. One of the aforementioned trees that can come into play and, and they do kind of encroach into your eye line off that tee. But you are thinking about carrying it, not about hitting it. Uh, you may have water issues from over there. There is some water on the front left portion. This green burns. Just fine. Yeah, pins over on that left side today. Doesn't really favor a side off the tape. In theory, in the old school way, we'd say play out to the right, you know, and, and talk about course management, give yourself a little bit more of a carry. Gorgeous drive. That no, doesn't really matter. It's changing. The game is changing. Damon's third at 11. We're going to check back in with Craig Perks here in a little bit, but I know that you just made him smile with that, that comment about course management. <laughs> it's not a lost art. It's just an art that's changed a lot. Yeah, I think, it, I think most of it feeds back to course design as well and paying respect to the person and, how, and their vision of the whole. Oh, these guys just have so many shots in their arsenal, they don't have to pay yeah, as much walking. attention. We talked about it with Bryson at Winged Foot. He paid tons of attention to the A.W. Tillinghast design. 
but he brought with him a, an array of shots that we had not seen and was able to do different things with that. He knew what the design was all about. That's one of the reasons why he did all the work that he did. But it becomes a different approach. Well, Adam Hadwin and Henrik Norlander racing out to three under. They're on this same back nine that our featured groups are. We had a couple of guys in our first group make birdies at that par three tenth. They're on the reachable 11th as we speak.